this is not a good time for Roman Reigns. I said it plenty of times that Jey Uso shit it just came with a Glock. Roman Reigns got to come with a Glock, but I guess nobody want to listen to me. Look, Solo Sokoa has become a real problem. Jacob Fatu has been a real problem. Tama Tonga is becoming a problem. Tonga Lo has just been there. Well, at least we're going to get Sammy Uso back with the bloodline, but they got some things to hash out. Like, they gotta get on the same page because Sami Zayn, Huluva, Kick, and Roman Reigns was not a part of the plans. We all knew we were going to get this Survivor Series war game match between the original bloodline and the bloodline 2.0, but I guess it's really just a matter of how we got there. The Rock still hasn't popped up ever since Bad Blood, so we don't know what's going on right there. Maybe The Rock cost Roman the war games match. Maybe The Rock cost Roman the Ula Fala. Maybe The Rock just turns face. I, I don't know where we're going with this, you guys. I, I'm just lost, man. I'm just lost. In other words, where do you think CM Punk is going to go next? Is he going to feud with a champion? Maybe Gunther? Is he going to feud with another person? Who, who knows who ever that person may be? I personally think CM Punk is going to go after Gunther for Survivor Series. He's already said... Before his last program with Drew McIntyre that he wanted to go after the World Heavyweight Champion. And we all know that Gunther is scheduled to face Dominic Mysterio for the World Heavyweight Championship. And it's most likely going to be a match on Raw where Gunther just obliterates Dominic Mysterio again. And my prediction is that after the match CM Punk comes out to come face to face with Gunther. And just like that we got our next mark our next marquee feud for some reason cm punk just has a natural ability to elevate anyone he's in a program with like we already know he's elevated drew mcintyre to heights that drew mcintyre haven't even reached yet and we already know that he's elevated mjf back in AEW and somewhat elevated moxley i don't know i guess it's just this random this random cm punk aura that he has but uh, if he gets into a program with Gunther, this is going to take Gunther to the next level. Unfortunately, Baron Corbin will not be resigning with WWE. He will be finishing out his contract, and that will be the last of Baron Corbin in WWE. This is kind of tragic for me, because me personally, I really did love Baron Corbin's work, especially in NXT with him and Braun Breaker. But now it's more evident that that whole team up was to do Braun Breaker a favor more than Barry Corbin because Baron Corbin had to reinvent himself on multiple occasions and he's actually made almost every single time he's reinvented himself he's made work so to see his booking just go down the drain so quickly after they disbanded the uh, team of him and Braun Breaker just to send Baron Corbin to SmackDown to be in a meaningless team with Apollo Crews. And I'm surprised Apollo Crews isn't even released because Apollo Crews hasn't done really anything ever since his whole IC Championship run where they made him a Nigerian warrior, which was really weird. But to see how far WWE has allowed Baron Corbin to fall down the drain is really upsetting because he could easily feud with LA Knight for his U.S. championship. And as I'm saying that, I'm watching LA Knight versus Andrade versus Carmelo Hayes at Crown Jewel. So uh, I wish all the best of luck to Baron Corbin wherever he may go. If he continues to wrestle in other promotions or if he just decides to do other things, venture out on other possibilities however the situation may be for him i'm rooting for baron corbin and i'll always remember you as the lone wolf are we gonna see john cena sometime soon maybe after survivor series i don't know we already know that 2025 will be john cena's officially last year with wwe before he retires we all know he's just gonna continue making movies but as far as wwe wise He's pretty much done, and people have fantasy booked how they would do his last run. I'm going to assume that his WrestleMania opponent will be probably either Randy Orton, Cody Rhodes, or maybe even CM Punk. Maybe a world title match. 
I'm not really sure. They, there's many directions they can go with, but one thing I would most definitely, most definitely like to see would be John Cena versus Cody Rhodes, most likely for WrestleMania, because I don't think we've seen that match before. If we have, it, I, I don't know, it's probably been a lesser version of Cody, like maybe the dashing version of Cody Rhodes. I have no idea. Wrestling is becoming more and more intriguing as the time passes, and man, I just feel like I'm getting old, because I remember just watching Super Cena do everything he did from from main event and two straight WrestleManias with The Rock to getting destroyed by Brock Lesnar and winning somehow to getting destroyed again by Brock Lesnar and losing his title to the whole John Cena U.S. title reign, and here we are now, and John Cena's waving goodbye to us. And I'm going to go ahead and wave goodbye to this video. I'm Cass Lounge. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And probably just